Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a review on a book called Sophie's World, written by Hastin Gardner. There's gonna be a three parts that I will be touching, which are storyline, the writing style, and the book cover. By the way, my name is Hugo Anna Greg, BB2211050, and today I'm gonna do a product review on a book called Sophie's Roll. So actually this book, I bought it back when I was 16, but then I forgot about it. It was left up my shelf. Then I saw it one day and I decided, hey, maybe I should bring it to Sabah and read it. The storyline starts very slow and probably the author decides to make it a slow burning type of book because Sophie is in a path of self-discovery and through the progression of the book, it turns into a mystery and at the ending, it decides to become a book of coming of age. But overall, for me, the storyline is like 7 out of 10 because of the slow progression of the book. The writing style emphasizes on the aesthetic of philosophy where the writer puts Sophie, a teenage girl, in a situation where wonders of life spark the spectrum of curiosity. To venture more into the world of black and white. It's like the writer purposely makes us feel the words of wisdom from the letters that Sophie receives in her mailbox. Safe to say that this book is like a love letter for readers that are into philosophy. It touches on the aspect of coming of age without asserting any romance stitches to it. It's more of self-discovery and character building. The elements of escapism through the novelty work of Hassan Gardner can be filled throughout the reading of this book. But if it wasn't for the interesting writing style of Hassan Gardner, I wouldn't enjoy this storybook so much because of the slow progression of this book, but the writing style saved it. So for now, the storyline is 7 out of 10, the writing style is 9.5 out of 10, but what about the book cover? The book cover has doodle type of art. I may need to read a bit of the book content to actually know what the book is about because the cover doesn't represent the content of the book but it isn't a pen in the eye to look at. But I understand the book cover looks like so because it fits with the standard aesthetic modern look so for me it's 8 out of 10. That's all from me. Thanks for watching.